So here we are in one of the prettiest spots where I live and you can't see me because I have the viewfinder on the other side. So you'll have to live with it. Um, and as pretty as this spot is, I mean there's actually trees here. Uh, I think you can see how much the local people appreciate what they've got. Um, <laughs> charming. And it's very windy here so those will scatter all over town. This is what the town really looks like out there in the heat and the dead grass droughts for 10 years um, I'm trying to figure out what I should do no I don't want to stay here there's no reason anybody would want to stay here if they can get out and I think I can get out I'm not going to that other town because of the housing problem and there's no job there to supplement the cost of housing, so that's just out. But I've been looking. I can live in a rat trap in uh, Albuquerque for three fifty a month. And when I called the woman about it today, can you call me back on Monday? Because I'm in a Bible convention. Oh, goody. So there's that. There really isn't any affordable housing. Even RV parks, unless you know people, you know, because things aren't advertised. So, um, there's a couple of mobile home lots for rent down in Truth or Consequences. Anybody who wants to um, investigate Truth or Consequences, help me figure out what's available down there. I'd appreciate it. The guy who owns it lives in Albuquerque. He's very perfunctory and cold. Um, but it's two mobile home lots, two twenty-five a month. Seems to be situated in what you could call downtown. Uh, it's not a very big town. Look it up on Google Maps. Take a trip around and see what the town looks like. It's across from, I guess, the municipal park and the swimming pool. So I'm going to go home and do a Google Map search of that. Well, in case you're curious, anybody that's not from my neck of the woods, that's a tumbleweed from last year. Um, so of course the trick is to get down there the truck is still a little iffy I spent $250 on a tune-up but one of the major problems is the stalling out thing and the reason it's stalling out is because there's uh, something wrong with the catalytic converter I can't take it off myself there's junk inside of it it clogs up the tailpipe and I can smell the exhaust backing up into the cab of the truck and it smothers the engine and the engine stalls. Um, it only happens at low RPMs and when I'm at stop signs, things like that, and it's intermittent. But when it gets funky, it gets really funky and it takes a while to turn the dang thing back on and get it going again. So uh, stop and go traffic is a pain in the ass. Highway driving isn't too bad because it pretty much blows itself out. So, truth or consequences, or I can live in one of those nasty ghetto-y places in Albuquerque that's noisy and crowded and dangerous in the bad part of town. I can't stay out here. So, if people have any ideas or suggestions, please let me know. I'm not sure when I'll be moving. I'd like to earn some more funds. I'm going to try to do some art and sell it. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, Please let me know if you have any brilliant ideas. I'm really scared. I'm going to have to hire somebody to drive me down there. Um, look on a Google map also and see what the distance is from Albuquerque to Truth or Consequences. And realize that I'm about 50, 75 miles from Albuquerque. So add 50, 75 miles to that. Uh, the good news is, uh, while Truth or Consequences doesn't have much, it's a bigger town than this one. The other thing is that it's 20 miles from Las Cruces, which is a university town and has a lot more stuff, including a LGBT center that's very active on, on their Facebook page and they're announcing events and stuff all the time. It's also a lot closer to Mexico and I would sure like to visit Mexico from time to time. 
just take a day trip come back before dark cuz I don't know when uh, my ex and I went to Juarez it was just gorgeous then the narco trafficking and the murders and all that stuff started happening I mean reporters were getting killed police captains were getting killed I think they went after the mayor they would just drive up to somebody's house who was having a birthday party or something and gun teenage kids down thinking they were members of, an, of a rival gang and they weren't members of a gang at all so I don't know if it's calmed down yet or not apparently Obama just had a big conversation with the president of Mexico about guns coming from the United States so we'll see this is about the prettiest tree here. So if anybody knows how I can work on my catalytic converter, please let me know. And take a look around to your seat and tell me what you think. I'm going to turn this thing off now because there's nothing to look at but my dog's butt. Bye.